Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Devin, and I'm so happy that you found your way to my channel. Since I made my return back to YouTube, I have been saying that I was going to do a Q&A video, and I'm finally getting around to doing it. I asked you all on Instagram to send me questions, and now I am finally going to answer them. But I'm also going to be making cupcakes at the same time, so it's going to be fun. The first question on here is, what is your comfort food? And honestly, um, this kind of stuff. It's anything sweet, anything with sugar. Ever since I was little, I've had a really big sweet tooth, so honestly, now that I'm an adult in my own place, it looks like a child lives here because I have like a gigantic candy bowl. I feel like my house is always stocked with like cookies or cupcakes or a cake or brownies or whatnot. So honestly, I feel like sweets are my comfort food, but if it wasn't sweets, it would probably be a Mediterranean pasta salad. Someone asked, what is your favorite video game? Right now, I have a huge obsession with Valorant. Oh my I think it's pretty much the only game that I want to play right now. I think it's the first game that's actually brought out like a competitive side of me, which I enjoy, and it's kind of addicting. Like every time you die, you just wanna keep going and going and going, but um, outside of Valorant, I'm really big into like cozy games, so like Animal Crossing, Disney Dreamlight Valley, Minecraft, The Sims, anything like that. Yo. Okay. Someone asked, what is your ideal place to live in the world? I haven't been to Italy, but I think I would want to live in Italy. Probably more on the countryside, almost like where Call Me By Your Name was set. That would be beautiful. I think it would bring peace to my mind. I don't think I would own a car. And yeah. What is the hardest thing you've had to overcome in your life? Honestly, I feel like the hardest thing I've had to overcome in my life has been moving to LA. I've kind of talked about this a lot with you guys, but I'm the type of person that absolutely adores my mom and I love her so much and doing all the things that I'm doing right now so far away from her has been really hard. Moving to LA and having to figure out so many things on your own so fast has really created a decline in my mental health and so that's something that I've been navigating for a while but I am starting to see the other side of that and I am feeling a lot better so I don't know one cup of water next someone asked favorite thing to do in LA I'm keeping it 100% real with you guys I honestly do not leave my house that much that's a lot of vegetable oil when I actually do leave the house, I would say that my favorite things to do are either to go to the beach or go to Disney. I've never lived in a place where I've had an amusement park that was that big close by. I've never had like a Disney right there, you know? So that's kind of cool. And it's nice because whenever people come and visit, I usually either take them to Universal or Disney and that's really fun. what my favorite album is. I think when it comes to my favorite albums, when I can say that I like every single song on it, I would say Fleetwood Mac's Rumors album. I grew up listening to Fleetwood Mac with my mom, so that was a big influence in my life. That would probably be my favorite album. But when it comes to favorite artists, you guys know it's Ariana Grande. Remember that, know that. The next question is, besides the family and friends, what else from Louisville do you miss? I miss the laid backness of it. Everybody in LA is so fast moving and Louisville as a city just feels like home. I feel comfortable there and I feel safe there. I just, I miss the familiarity. I don't know, it was just, it was, it was a comfortable space. Where did you think you would be in five years, five years ago compared to where you are now? When I was in high school, I had a lot of different, I, oh! Oh my god, I'm so stupid! Okay, so five years ago I would have been still in high school and there was a lot of factors at that time that kind of impacted where I saw myself in the future. I, at the time I was in a really long relationship at 16, I probably was thinking that I was still going to be with my high school boyfriend at the time. I probably would have thought that I was going to go to school for musical theater, that I would be living in New York, performing on Broadway. That's just crazy to think 
how much things have shifted since then. I still have that love for musical theater. It's just evolved to something different in my life. And I've also been given opportunities that are hard to walk away from, like social media. I mean, this is just something that caught me very off guard and I would be silly not to pursue it because I enjoy it. And there's a lot of my passions that get to come together on these platforms of mine, which I do really enjoy. How much do you even fill these up? God. Oh my god, bro. That was a lot. Oh my god, it's getting everywhere. <sighs> the next question is, what makes me happiest? And mostly just my friends and family. I don't know what I would do without them. They keep me sane half the time, especially my mom. Love her. I am so grateful for her. She has been my rock. Honestly, my dream is to just be able to pay her back for everything that she's done for me because I love her and I think she makes me the happiest. Also my son, my pride and joy, Casper. Yeah, I mean, just, just my friends and family. I love them. I wouldn't be the person that I am today without them. How long do I cook them for? Any travel plans? I don't currently have any plans at the moment, but one of my goals for this year is to save up enough money to be able to take my mom back to Ireland. We went when I was in eighth grade and we were on a tour the whole time that we were there and I just want to be able to take her back and see it on our own terms and be able to explore the places that we want to go and spend more time in the cities that we liked and yeah, so that's one of my goals. My favorite movie, I have three favorite movies. They're honestly all tied at the top as my favorite. Spider-Man No Way Home, which explains itself, Practical Magic, and Breakfast at Tiffany's. They're all different from each other, but I think that's why I can't put one above another because they're so different that I love them all for different reasons and they're my all-time favorite movies ever. Do you have any favorite hobbies? Um, I really like organizing things. I don't feel like I talk about that a lot, but I am kind of a neat freak when it comes to my living space, so I find a lot of joy in like picking out little organizers and getting things all super clean and stuff like that. So I don't know. I mean, I guess it's a hobby. I don't know. I used to do graphic design in college and that's kind of morphed into a hobby of mine. What was high school like for you? How far have you come since high school? Uh, high school was pretty fun for me. I had a solid friend group that didn't necessarily go to my high school and I was hanging out with them all the time on the weekends and stuff. and. That was nice because it was just genuine and we were all young and it was fun and I have some really great memories from that time. I've changed a lot since then, but um, I am grateful for those years. You single? Yes, I am. What are some good cosplay tips and advice on starting out as a content creator? My biggest thing of advice would be to literally just start. I feel like that's the easiest thing that you can do if you want to get into cosplay is just start looking up your favorite characters or characters that you've always thought were cool or see what you have in your closet to put those pieces together. Like my first cosplay that I put together was Laura Croft because I loved Tomb Raider growing up and that's pretty easy to put together with like some cargo pants from your closet, a tank top, I don't know, some eyeshadow to act like it's a bruise or dirt on your face. I think there's a lot of people in the cosplay community that bash people who buy cosplays or get cheaper cosplays and if they're not completely accurate, they'll kind of give them hate and stuff. And I think just, just do what makes you happy. Don't feel the need to do certain cosplays just because everybody else is doing them or don't feel ashamed that you have to get a $20 one on Amazon when you see someone else made one from scratch. There's so many different ways to do cosplay and I think just finding ways to express yourself through it by doing characters that you really enjoy is the best way to do it and you end up building a community that likes the same fandoms as you and I think that's really cool. Um, as for starting out as a content creator, literally just sit down and think about the things that you like, the things that set you apart from other people. and find a way to share that with everybody. Also, starting out as a content creator, don't be afraid to experiment with a bunch of different things. Uh, try out a bunch of different platforms and a bunch of different styles of content, a bunch of different genres of content, um, because you never know, you never know. You might be flopping on Instagram with reels, but then you start making YouTube videos and they do really well, or you might be struggling on YouTube, but then you find great success on Twitch. So just 
Don't be afraid to try out a bunch of different things. Your favorite Marvel or DC characters. I am not the biggest DC fan. I think out of all the DC characters that I know, I would probably just say Harley Quinn because I think she's funny. But when it comes to Marvel, I think it's pretty obvious that my favorite character ever is Spider-Man. But outside of Spider-Man, since I feel like everybody already knows that, I think some of my other favorites would definitely be Wanda. I really like the Guardians of the Galaxy as a whole, um, so I would group them in as my favorites. Maybe out of all of them, Drax. There's there's a lot of Marvel characters that I like, but obviously Spider-Man is my OG. What makeup do you use? It looks like it blends so smoothly and easily. When it comes to my like base makeup, I pretty much just use Tarte. Um, I use the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation and Concealer. Another thing that I do in my makeup routine sometimes when I'm dealing with bad acne is underpainting. So I will, before I put any foundation on my face, I will put concealer over all of my blemishes and the places that tend to show through. And then I'll put a layer of foundation on and then I'll put concealer on again. So that really does help with the airbrush look. My friend Megan said, spill your birth chart to the fans. I am a Pisces sun, a Virgo rising, and a Gemini moon. So, do with that what you will. Someone asked, how did you get started with everything? Like, how did you get support with your goals? My mom. So much of where I'm at, I owe to my mom. She trusts me. Um, she knows that I have the grit to be able to see things through. And when I told her that I was not going to be going back to college in the fall and that I was going to stay in LA and I was going to pursue my dreams out here, she was like, okay. There's a lot of times where I doubt myself and there's a lot of times where I get down mentally and every single time she has managed to pull me back up and get me on my feet and find a way to light the spark in me again and let me know that if I fall she's going to be right there to catch me and I love her. Mommy literally about to cry. Hometown? 502? Louisville? Follow for a follow. Someone asked what is your Smash Bros main? Definitely my husband, Link. Thank you. Serious question, if you could have a supernatural baby, what would his or her powers be? His powers would probably be to read minds. What is your favorite TV show? Definitely The Vampire Diaries. I started watching that when I was eight years old and it came out on TV and I finished watching it when I was 16 years old. And at that point, it had taken up half of my life. What so far has been your favorite cosplay? Probably Tifa. I felt hot in that. How many Funkos do you have? Surprisingly, I only have six. I have a Scarlet Witch one, a Daenerys Targaryen one, an Eevee one, a Spider-Man No Way Home one, a Spider-Man Make a Wish one that is blue, and then I have Venom. And that's it. What advice would you give to your younger self? Probably would tell myself to trust your gut. A lot of my goals have stayed the same since I was a child and a lot of the things that I want now I wanted back then and you are supposed to be doing what you're doing and that everything happens for a reason. What are your favorite performances from an actor slash actress? I am a huge fan of Natalie Portman in Black Swan. I think that she did an amazing job with that role and it's captivating to watch. I really liked Timothy Chalamet and Steve Carell in Beautiful Boy. I think that they both did an amazing job in that movie. Makes me bawl my eyes out. I think that it's top tier acting. I'm obsessed with it. I, I think they're both so talented and this movie, I think, showcased for both of them how big their range actually is. Age? I'm about to turn 22 on March 3rd, so if you guys aren't wishing me a happy birthday then, I'm going to be offended. Favorite places to film cosplays? In my home. <laughs> I honestly take a lot of time filming, so just being able to do it in my home makes me feel more comfortable to be able to take my time and do them well. This part, I am not good at. My mom asked, who is your favorite mom? And little does she know that I have spent this entire YouTube video making it very obvious who my favorite mom is and how much I adore her. So mom, whenever you watch this YouTube video, I think it's gonna be pretty obvious the answer to that question. And I love you very much. One of my biggest things that I hate is having stuff on my hands. I hate sticky stuff on my hands. I hate dirt on my hands. And right now I am making the biggest mess. How do you do this? 
I can't even. What is this? This is not what this is supposed to. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's just like that's not even the design. <gasps> oh my god, I did it. I did it. But I don't have enough icing. Oh my god. That was majority of the questions, and I think I'm going to lose my mind putting icing on these things. So this is what they look like right now. I don't really know how professional bakers do this and I don't really know why every single one of them looks different, but these are just for me, so it's okay. I'm probably gonna icing the rest of these off camera and not do them in a cute manner. Um, I was just trying to do something special for once. I think this video maybe gave you guys a little bit more information about me. I like answering questions, so thank you guys for sending those in. I would be so happy if you gave this video a thumbs up and subscribed. I post every single week and I stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I love you guys so much. Have a great rest of your week and I will see you all next time. I approve.